Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Seventh Saga. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius, and we're now going to head up northeast to figure out what the hell is up here. Because there was something to the west, but, you know, there's gotta be something to the east. Uh, besides that, there's also random encounters and whatnot, so if anything, I'll be able to get a few levels off of this if I manage to survive the fights against spirits. Let's hope I can s okay. Or the spirits can run away. That, that also works. I did rest before the beginning of this video, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm bad at remembering. Kind of a... Okay... Up north more? I don't know, maybe I'll... Maybe I won't be all too far. I think that this continent is actually that little continent that had the, uh, descendants of the survivors of Melinam on it. Kill the spirit first. Use the spirit! Anyone that also listens to Master Plan also probably just went to me singing that little bit. Oh. Didn't know I was that close to a level. Of course, every monster here is like, Oh, I have a thousand experience points. And I'm like, yes, please, I will take all of the experience points. So, 46. You know, thinking on the original, the, um, uh, American original, I think I recall actually beating the game roughly around level 60, but that's if it's... That was if I had a partner alongside me, and usually I would choose Olven because Olven's awesome. Like, he has a little bit of healing, but he's very tough. He's like a freaking tank, man. I believe one of, uh, one of the first times I played through was Legis and Olven that I had beaten the game with. I just go completely around a circle and meet up with the village of Palsu again. God, I hope that's not the case. But yeah, it was around level 60 that I recall beating the game for the very first time with a partner. And I think it was 65 after that that I had beat it with Esuna alone. And let me tell you, that was a hell of a triumph. I'm pretty sure I have a fort sword and didn't use any of the scepters because I was like, who needs a scepter? Or wands, or staves, or whatever. No, not magic. Eh, that's gonna end up using a harp. Yep. I, I usually just like it when it's, you know, misses. Stop dodging. I would like to murder you now. Thank you. Still only 800. I'm sorry, anything that has an instant death move should automatically be at least double the experience of most anything that's in the game, or in that area. Aha, screw you! I remembered to buy mirrors this time. That was one of those times I was grinding back before Melinam. In fact, it was the... It was exactly the time that I was grinding before Melinam. This is, this is Palsu, isn't it? I just went in a, around in a giant ass circle. Well done, Dar. Well done. Fantastic. Well, that's two mirrors gone. I'm really hoping that you try to petrify. Oh. Eating through my mirrors here. Stop that. You know, I always did find the these witches a little bit funny whenever they attack or cast a spell, like... Does that work? Like he opens a singular eye coin. Did it work? Did I hit you? Man. I'm gonna end up making my money that I needed to get the best sword in the game, aren't I? Yep, this is... 
This is Palsu again. Wait. Wasn't there someone supposed to be at the beginning area there? Uh... Where'd everyone go? Hello? Okay. Every young person has gone to Melanam and all the old people in general. Yeah, okay. There was supposed to be like a kid at the start there. I'm pretty damn sure anyways. Uh, no behind the doors there. Behind the door. Uh, behind the drawers. Um... Ain't afraid to admit. A little lost again. Mostly because I don't recall what the hell I'm supposed to do after this point. I mean, there is an upstairs. Is there someone that I'm supposed to talk to upstairs? Nope. Or maybe there is someone I'm supposed to talk to upstairs, but they're not upstairs at this exact moment. Also, by the way, this place, large place, large facility, has an upstairs with privacy and whatnot, six gold. The Melinam facility, where you go to sleep, 36 gold, if I recall correctly. That's quite a price hike, simply because of, ooh, we have technology. Look, unless your pill food tastes like ambrosia, ain't gonna top a home-cooked meal. Kind of a weird rant to get into, but I'm about to face my reaper. That doesn't fit. Face my doom makes more sense. Face my demise. My despair. Reaper, not so much. Reaper is an intimidating name, but... Eh, I want to go so far as to say more intimidating than my doom. Welcome to your doom. Okay, I'll stop now. So, I gotta go back to mailing them for something. Maybe I gotta talk to... Oh, that dragon ran away. Maybe I gotta talk to someone at the airport. I think. Yeah. Getting lost is essentially the last bit of the game. Alright, there's Melanam. Come on, let's get there. Let's just get there. There we go. Oh! Oh, snap, some bad stuff's going down. Attention! Alert! Foma started moving! It's out of control! Holy crap, that's horrible. One second, let me hit let me hit the end. I, I, I'm tired. Okay, I'm ready for this. Let's go. My mission is protect the town. Then go down and beat up your machine brethren. Holy crap. Foma's gone out of control. Am I the only one who can stop it? No one can turn it off? No safety protocols against this shit? Gonna end up being like the T-1000. Oh man, I should set that to my alarm clock. That shit would drive anyone nuts. Alright. We got this, though. Bet you all the scientists are trying to figure out a way to turn it off. Oh, they're fools for having created it in the first place. Something triggered Fulma. It's out of control. We shouldn't have dealt with the power of darkness. That's what I keep trying to tell you idiots! Fulma is draining the energy sources of Melanam. Can't even fly the airship. Soon, Fulma will be able to destroy the entire planet. We must stop Fulma before it's too late. Fulma is blocking our way to the lab. The scientists are still inside. Well, let me get at it. I'll shut it down permanently. Oh, I realized my mistakes. All right, first off, be protect. To protect myself. I suddenly realizing that I probably should really hope that I had the light rune again. Light rune was nice. Agility, make it so as I dodge more attacks again. I really miss my star rooms. Wasn't my star room, what was it? 
Don't remember which room did that. And then... B power. Alright, so this thing is able to take on God. Or take on the devil. And he does one damage. You know, I'm starting to see the logic in the, the um, translators having decided to make this fight a little bit more difficult. Just a uh, tiny bit more difficult. Did, are you going to do anything else besides throw the dead at me? Nope. So if Foma was strong enough to defeat Sora, uh, Soma, what was his face? Whatever. And Gorsia. What does that mean I'm able to do now? Alert! Alert! The energy field is malfunctioning. Evacuate immediately! The energy field of Melanem will erupt. Evacuate immediately! Well... We all escaped safely. Thank you for helping us. We must find Saru. Can we count on your help too? I've already spent Tetujin to search for him. We made an energy la emergency landing on the Bar Barluka continent because of engine trouble. I imagine you didn't have much time, you know, seeing as you had a freaking malfunction machine on your hands. We avoided making a horrible mistake. Thank you. No, you made the horrible mistake. I was just there to pick it up after you, the mess. We ended up losing our continent at a small price compared to the whole planet. <sighs> Not sure you see the whole logic of that situation, but sure. Take it easy for a while. I don't think I'm able to, seeing as I'm the one that has to face off against the god-killing person thing. So now each of these rooms now facilitates one of the various shops. Well, almost all of these rooms. All of the residents have been evacuated from the continent by the airship. I'm sure they are now in search of a new homeland. I would think so. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't want to live in an airship my entire life. There's a woman who claims she can communicate with Saro. Oh, good. Seriously, any help I can get would be really appreciated. <laughs> And I still can't afford that victory sword. More expensive by... Still off by roughly 11,000. What a second. You know when you need to sneeze and then you go to sneeze, it doesn't let you sneeze? That's what I'm facing right now. Okay, I can at least sell my M waters, because screw those, I don't need them because I don't have someone to revive. <sighs> I guess I'll just save my sapphires and rubies for whenever the hell I can afford it when I sell them. And this one should be the inn? No. I can feel the presence of Saro. He is somewhere on the continent. His force is becoming weaker. We must hurry. Hmm. Now we have to find the dude. Kind of wish I had a flashing light on an orb to figure out where it is that he is. Oh, two gold. Sweet. But that might just be me. <sighs> so where is this sorrow then? Oh, here's the item shop. Oh. Ooh, you sell bottled power and bottled agility? Hell yes, thank you. Please give me all that you can. I would like to be able to carry 20 or so, but I can't do that. Might as well buy a couple of mirrors and some harps along the way, too. If I remember, um, again, the US version of the game is pretty damn brutal. Like... 
like having to be a comfortable level 50 to be able to survive outside for more than five minutes at a time. That brutal. I do not remember using all of these harps. But apparently, I had to restock on harps. So let's go outside and see what we got. Oh. I know Dorsey is on the Bar Barluca continent. He was going to throw me off. Also, he's on the continent? The, the, the one we're on right now. Yep, that's an airship. Wait, isn't this the airship that the guy would have charged me 7,000 gold just to take a look at? There's nothing to worry about. We have enough fuel and food to survive for more than a year. I mean, I think you guys should have more of a plan than survive here for a year. Like, I don't know. Go to whatever continent is not infested with monsters and the cold. Because, let me be frank with you. The cold's probably the worst part of it. Alright, sure, if anyone knows any fire spells, that's nothing. Oh, hey! I remember facing these guys. They're kinda punks. Kinda punks. A little bit of punks. Not very punk. What is this spell? Ow! That's what that spell is. Ugh. Yeah, spellcasting is kind of the bane of both Olven and Chad. So, I remember getting to this island and having a little bit of a rough time because of spells. Just, just a little bit. I wonder if I can at least find Sorrow before having to call it an episode. Probably not. I wouldn't be that lucky. Ugh. Oh, you're the serpent. Serpent. You called the serpent because you can't petrify me. Suck it. Oh no, this is the serpent. All right. Serpent. Serpent. Just call one of them Medusa already. Jesus. Do so what is that? Oh god, I'm suddenly reminded of the freaking clams just before Seat the Scaleless from Dark Souls. It has been a while since I played this. I do not remember these crab guys. Map. Map. I mean, they're at least not that strong, but still don't want to be hit by spells. That said, Please st stop casting the spells. Stop living. One of the strongest enemies in the game is just a straight up crab. That's. That's cool. That's great. That's awesome. Oh! Hello, Dogen! This is the Dogen, right? I'm sorry, I've seen so many dragons with slight color changes to them. I don't know if you're a Dogen or a Durgan. It's a Dogen. Well, that said, though, by the time I find out where the Sorrow is on this continent, should at the least be able to afford the Victory Sword. Oh. I think he's, uh, right up there, if anything. Eh. Oh, there's two dots. Which one should I go to first? Uh, I'm gonna hit the one on the right first, seeing as I'm pretty sure that I'm going to hit it before the other one. Kill the ghoul. One of the strongest enemies in the game is a goddamn crab. God damn it. Suck it. That's what you get for trying to petrify me a billion times. Idiots. Yeah, by the time I... By the time I find Sorrow, I'm probably going to end up being able to afford the Victory Sword and whatever armor I need. Ah, peaceful little village. We are the humble servants of Sorrow. 
When Gorsia reappeared, Saro told us to stay here and left for Gorfan. Wait, Castle Gorfan? The place that I had destroyed before? This is the House of Healing. Oh, I, I don't need healing, I just need rest. Six gold? You know, I know a lady that has services for only two gold. You'd think your little humble house of sorrow would be all like, oh, have some services for free. Sorrow must have known that he couldn't, wouldn't win this time. That's why he went alone. To where? I feel Sorrow's force, though it is feeble. It's coming from the west. He is still alive. We must save him. I, mean, I think the chances of that are probably going to be slim to none. I no longer feel Sorrow's life force. Gorsia indeed might have won. See, where's your confidence, man? God damn you, disciples. It appears that Gorsia is getting increasingly stronger. We may not be able to defeat him at this point. Sorrow once defeated Sor Gorsia with using the runes, and he'd sealed off Gorsia's dark powers in them. However, when Gorsia returned to this world, he cursed the runes, so that Sorrow couldn't use them against him. Sorrow had to fight Gorsia with his bare hands. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit worse. It may be impossible to defeat Gorsia without the power of the runes. Hmm. Well, I guess I gotta go and help out uh, Sorrow then. She's gonna be in that little cave over here, isn't he? Yep. I just know it. Oh, a Tetrogen! Okay then. That was helpful. At the least that should tell me that whatever is here... Mm, whatever is here is at least strong enough to beat up Tetu Tetsujin with little to no problems. Or at least there's just droves of them so it kills Tetsujin rather... Un un Undeed? Okay. Just, just gotta remember, Dar, it's early freaking SNES game. Their translators probably knew diddly squat about actually translating shite. Oh, an M seed. Magic seed. Cool. I think that one increases my... Either my magic stat or my MP. I'm gonna go with my MP. Die. Ow. That painful, but still. Ugh, don't revive. Ah. You suck. You suck so hard. Come on. Okay. I no. No. Good. Good. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. Freaking. There's, there's definitely something that had gotten on my nerves when I was a kid and playing this late in the game, being all... Gorsia's spell is wreaking on us. Oh. Well, that explains it. But being like, Oh god, why does every other energy have a healing or a revival spell? Uh, fireball. Oh god, that does shite for damage. I don't know why I thought that that was going to be a good thing to use. At least one of them just ran away. Got that going for me. Okay. That's cool, just suck up all of my freaking magic. Not like I need it or anything. I'm not going to be casting any spells besides healing me anyways. That said, what am I down to? Like, 200? Yeah, I guess I'll heal too. Oh, another one. Sorrow might be in the back room. Might be in the back room? Not 100% on this? Your memory banks kinda suck, don't they? Ugh, just nothing but undeed here. Which I realize is probably just meant to slow me down. 
or drain all of my MP. That's right, I remember playing as Esuna and this kid sucking. Because all these guys would do was cast MP Catcher. And I would be so goddamn out of luck by the time that I had gotten to the end of the cave. Because I could not cast my spells. In fact, look at that. Can't even cast my spells now. Don't. 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 Just stay dead. Just stay dead. I really wish at the least I would get more MP when I killed them multiple times. I guess that's just wishful thinking. Or more... more MP, more money, more something. A better chance of finding items that people drop. Like these things drop recoveries. I kinda wish I could get those recoveries. Ugh, I should've reposed. Come on. Murder it. Thank you. Okay. Hopefully you're out of magic, so you can't even recover him. Mm. I would like to find Sorrow before too long. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna be able to buy a victory sword pretty damn soon. That's only like the 15th time I've said it this episode. Alright. Potion. More Undeed. Oh no! Those aren't Undeed at all. Give me the Undeed again. I'd much prefer the Undeed. Oh god, these things suck. What are they, just black demons? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Magic is my greatest weakness. Mm, I really want the light rune. I miss the light rune so bad. Oh, god damn it. Why don't you guys have a limited amount of magic? Okay. Why don't you guys have a limited amount of magic points, huh? That'd only be fair. Oh, but Darius, you're playing an Enix game. Fair is just an illusion. Uh, I almost want to say some. No. You suck so goddamn hard. Hmm. So I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try to make my stay in this cave as brief as possible. What are you? You have interrupted my rest, you miserable fool. I will send you to the Dark World. So who is sending me to the Dark World? Hi. Uh... You remind me of... something. Okay. Where is my be agility? You are a big ghostly thing that reminds me of a dog I once knew. Don't take that as an insult. He was also a ghost. Good lord if he weren't massive, though. And sentient. Which is kind of an upgrade. Okay, so he hits... Like a goddamn... Bus! I was trying to say something other than tank, but... Busting is less impressive, now that I think about it. What are you doing? You're doing that twistery th Ow! I really wish that I had gained back my MP so that I can... ...do some of that. This might be a little bit longer a fight, just because I have to restore my health every time he does that. Okay, come on. Yeah, just, just keep doing that. I can dodge that with ease. Even then, like, if I'm blocking, I'll do, like, no damage. Aha! 
I am the mighty Chad. Chad. Okay, he's not recovering. Which means that I have you with this it. Ooh. Goron. He was colored kind of like a Goron, though. I should have Zelda stole the Goron from this game. Okay. I know I missed that treasure chest back there, but... You know, if you've seen the enemies in this area, I... Re oh. Oh. It's gonna be one of those areas, is it? Alright. Alright. Now that's cool. I don't mind. I don't mind. I, I like myself a good boss rush. Just uh, give me a moment to actually prepare for said boss rush, will ya? Okay, thanks. Sir Garcia instructed me to let no one through. If you wish to go forward, you must first defeat me. And who are you, if I may ask? Oh! A bigger, better version of uh, the serpent. Which wasn't really a serpent. Alright. What do you do? Do you do magic? You do spells? I know you should do spells. Most bosses do spells of some sort. I'm wondering whether or not I'm just wasting my bottles of protect, power, and agility. Really wish that there was also a bottle of protection. Ow, that's a vacuum. Okay, that one missed me, but I'm still glad I... suddenly really glad that I have harps. Okay. That's a nice crunch sound, by the way. Always did like that sound. Ow. Kinda sounds like she's saying ow. Ow. Ha <laughs> ha, didn't work. Ah, you have the twister too? Okay, I guess I'm healing really quickly. Which is not a terrible thing. I should be very glad that I have healing abilities. I just kind of wish that they weren't, you know, 34. That way I could at least cast them four straight times in a row. Oh, God, please don't cast it, like, another five times. Okay, one more attack should do the trick. Suck it. Okay, one more attack should do the trick. I think they're just trying to level me up at this point. Griffane? Griffan? No, that, that was not a griffin. Alright. Uh, potion 3? I kind of risked it with her trying not to use my... Eh, whatever. Mm, no. Uh, guy's going to be hard up on me, huh? Not gonna let me run. Sounds like this, I really wish I had vacuum bottles. I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm not sure whether or not they'd be all that effective against them. Well, at least that one ran away. Which is good, because I was trying to run away too. I'd really rather not this video go like 40 minutes long trying to find sorrow. Oh! Found him! Don't know why sorrow has pink hair. Chad, I knew you would come. Gorsia took all of my power away from me. Now I can hardly feel the sunlight on my body. I no longer have the power to protect the people, but I removed Gorsia's curse on the runes. When you use the runes, they should give you enough power to fight Gorsia. Chad, I have to leave the rest to you. Fight Gorsia and win for the people. I'm growing weaker as we speak. Don't worry about me, though. My flesh will perish, but I will be reborn to a new life. Well, that's saddening. Good game. You said he had the runes, right? Oh no, he just removed the curse from the runes. He probably have has his followers. 
keeping them on him them for safekeeping. Alright, so I need my exit gate. Okay. And we'll go talk with his followers then. After this, I'm totally going to do a little bit of grinding though. Or at least I will if the killer knights aren't going to all run away from me like freaking pansies. <sighs> Quick rest. Oh. Uh. I'll get to you guys in a moment. I, I just want to save and call an episode first, and then when I return, I shall talk to those disciples. Oh, I got all the gold. Okay. I shall talk to those disciples and see what they want of me. So, thank you all for watching. I'm going to grind a little bit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.